Well, thanks so much. It's time to talk baseball with head coach Matt Myers at WKU. The first pitch about two weeks away when you take on the Maryland Terrapins. Yeah, looking forward to going down to uh, Myrtle Beach and, and playing in that tournament and open up with a really good opponent. Well, you've scheduled a, a tough schedule this year. This could be the most impressive home schedule that our program's ever had. Matt. Yeah, it's, you know, college baseball, I think a lot of people are starting to be educated with is the parity that's in our sport. Mm -hmm. You know, the top 200 teams can all beat each other. And, and that, you don't have that in football, basketball, or anything else. So everyone looks at our schedule, and it's impressive, but everybody's good nowadays. You, you really, it's tough to find someone that you can try to beat up on. But yeah. we, don't, we don't want that anyway, because that doesn't help you get to where we want to go. But um, a, a tremendous home schedule. I, I can't wait. Um, you know, with um, Missouri Valley winner uh, in Evansville coming in, the first one, and of course, Ohio State and the name that they bring. And of course, everyone knows what they are doing right now, football-wise. UK is back at the Hot Rods field and then an exhibition game with the Hot Rods. And then um, traditional conference USA Powers and Rice and Southern Miss will be coming here. And then uh, I'd be, uh, be remiss to say if I didn't talk about Old Dominion coming in to open it up and, and my, my boy Finney coming back. Yeah, so it's just a great schedule. You're yeah. returning a lot of hitters. Six yeah. of your top nine hitters yeah. from last year are back. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I think, you know, everyone's going to focus on the experience and uh, – the physicality, athleticism, all that that's back, plus what we've added. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I think our defense has made the biggest improvement where we needed to. Mm -hmm. Well, great in, infield defense. You have one of the college baseball's best throwing catchers in Ryan Messick. We really do, and it's neat to have Messick's back. And, you know, just the, the epitome of a student athlete in graduate school right now and, you know, made a 4.0 this semester and been on the Johnny Bench watch list for two years in a row. And, and uh, then you probably argue that I could, say we have one of the best shortstops in the country defensively coming back. And I think when people look at Danny Hudzina, our third baseman, he's as good as Cody. So the left side of our infield is unbelievable. And then we move a Lathe Clarkson, who was up for freshman of the year last year, mm -hmm. filling in for Cody when he got hurt, him and Thomas Peter over at second base, and, of course, Ryan Church. So the infield, I think, has gotten a lot better. And along with, like you said, Ryan Messick's behind the plate. And as the season progresses, we'll get to see a lot of the arms that uh, Matt and his coaching staff have brought in here as WKU wants to get opens up the season in two weeks against Maryland. Good luck against the Terps. Don't fear the turtle. We won't. We can't All wait. Right. Thanks, Randy. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Head coach Matt Myers, WKU Baseball. Now back to you guys at halftime.